we're looking at matrices as linear transformations. Uh, in a previous video, we looked at the two operations of scaling and shearing. Um, today, we're going to look at basic reflection uh, and basic projection. Um, by basic, we're not going to go too deep into this. There are things called orthogonal projections, um, which involve uh, parts of subspaces. We're just going to look at a couple um, essential matrices, which will do um, reflections along common lines and axes and projection into the axes. Um, so that's what I mean by basic reflection and projection. Um, so again, we're going to look at the vector 1, 2, because that seems to be working well for us. And we're just going to see what a uh, linear transformation can do to this vector. Um, so I'll, I'll draw it here. We go out 1 and up 2. That's B. Um, so let's start with uh, reflection. Um, well, the first example we're going to look at is reflection across the x-axis. And that is represented by the matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1. So what do I notice about this matrix? Notice that it's almost exactly the same as the identity matrix, except for this, which is negative 1. And what that'll do, that'll just flip the, uh, uh, flip the minus sign on our y value, therefore flipping it across the uh, x-axis. So if we have that transformation, which is 1, 0, 0, minus 1, multiplied by our vector 1, 2, The result we get is 1 minus 2. And that looks like this. We go out 1 and down 2. So it's basically like we had a, a mirror right here, and that, that vector was reflected. Um, cool. Um, so let's also look at the reflection across the y-axis. And similarly, this is going to look a lot like the identity matrix, only this time that one is going to be negative. So what this matrix does is that it grabs that x value and it switches the negative sign on that. So we just reflect in the other way. And here we get negative 1, 2. So let's chart that. We go negative 1 and up 2. Right there. That was 3. Cool. This time we just stuck a mirror there on the y-axis and reflected across, across that axis. Um, so one other one that might be interesting to look at uh, is reflection across the line y equals x. And this is going to look like the matrix. That. It's like the opposite of the, oh, that is the identity matrix I meant to write. 0, 1, 1, 0. That will be reflect, uh, reflection across the line y equals x. So what this matrix basically does is it's going to flip these two numbers, whatever they are. Let's see how it does that. Here, when we multiply 0, 1 by 1, 2, it'll take that second number, put it on top, and this is going to grab that first number and put it on bottom. So that becomes 2, 1. So we go out 2 and up 1. So 
So now, uh, if we have the line y equals x, which is just a straight line halfway between these two axes, it's like we had a mirror there, and uh, this vector is reflected right there. Oops, let's see, that was minus 1, 2. Cool. Um, so those are the basic reflections that we're going to look at. Now we're going to uh, move on to projection. And we're going to look at projection into the y and x axes. So what is projection? That's like if we have a vector and we're projecting onto the x axis. X axis is basically the shadow. You can think of it as the shadow that the vector casts. So to start, projection onto the x axis. looks like this. Um, just a one in the upper left hand corner and then the rest is every, uh, rest is all zeros. And the effect of that uh, it keeps the one the way it is and it gets rid of the second number, this two. So if I chart that, that's just this little part right here. And that's basically the shadow cast vertically down by this vector onto uh, the x-axis. Our y is completely gone. We're just left with that little guy. Um, let's also try uh, projection into the y-axis. Uh, so that's all zeros except for the bottom right. Let's look at what that does. Okay, this will erase the top value and keep the uh, second value the way it is. So we have zero, two. If we plot that, it's this piece right here. So again, it's taking our original vector, which is right here, and doing the horizontal shadow onto the y-axis like that. It's getting pretty crowded on that board. But yes, those are the, um, the two most basic projections that we have just onto the axes. Uh, and again, we have those three examples of reflections. Um, so those are two more types of linear transformations. Um, be sure to check out the rest of the series for more examples. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and any of the other math related videos on our channel. If you're not subscribed to our channel, click this link right here. For more help with linear algebra, check out Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra by Robert McCohen or Elementary Linear Algebra by Bruce Cooperstein. Both are available at an affordable price in digital formats on our website. Just click this link right here.